Hello friends, welcome back to Zero Math. Today we are going to learn the very important concept in maths that is what is an average. Along with the concept I will also explain you the various short tricks to save your time during the examination. And you can literally solve the problem related to average what you can see on the screen in just few seconds. So friends without any further delay let's get started. First thing first, let's understand the concept. So what is an average? In a simple terms, the average is sum of numbers divided by count of numbers. For example, an average of 2, 3, 4 and 7 would be sum of this number that is sum is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 divided by count of numbers. So, if you count this number it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, count of number is 4 which is equal to so 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 7 is 16 divided by 4 which is equal to 4. Hence, 4 is an average of these 4 numbers. Let us take a practical example to understand the concept of average. Jack earns profit of 300 USD on day 1, 200 USD on day 2 and 400 USD on day 3. Now how much average profit does he earns each day? To solve this we will take sum of his profit on each day that is 300 plus 200 plus 400 divided by count. So, count of days, how many number of days? Those are 3. If you take sum of these numbers, it would be 900 divided by 3. So, 900 by 3 would be 300, which means Jack earns on an average profit of 300 dollars each day. This is a simple concept of average. Now, let us move on to the most interesting part of this video that is short trick to deal with the sums related to average. Let us take the sum from examination. Find the average of first 95 odd numbers. Now, what is an odd number? The number which are not divided by 2 are odd number. For example, 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on are all example of odd numbers. Now, 1 is the first odd number, 3 is the second odd number, 5 is the third, 7th is the fourth and so on. Like that there will be 95th odd number. You have to take sum of all this and you have to divide by 95 that is going to your, be your answer. Now, are you really going to do all this stuff in the exam? Do you have that much of time? Definitely no. Let me tell you the answer of this sum. So, answer of this sum is 95. Easy, isn't it? What you need to understand or remember is that the average of first nth odd number is always the number n. I will prove this with the simple example. Let us try to find out the average of first 5 odd numbers. So, first 5 odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Let us take sum of them divided by total count. So, total count of numbers are 5. So, what will be the sum? 7 plus 9 is 16, plus 5 21, 24 and 1 25 divided by 5 which is equal to 5. You can see the 9th is a 5th odd term. Hence, the average of these numbers would be 5. I hope you understood this short trick correctly. Now, tell me what is the average of first 127 odd numbers? The answer is 127. With a lightning speed, you should be able to answer that. Now, let us complicate the scenario. Let us find out the average of odd numbers from 1 to 95. Now, do not get confused with the previous sum. The previous sum was to find out the average of first 95 odd numbers. Here, 95 is not a 95th term. The 95th odd number could be something else. So, please read the question carefully. Now, how to solve such kind of sums very quickly? I will tell you the simple trick to find the answer. So, what you need to do? Let us find out the first odd number. 
that is 1 and what is the last odd number that is 95. Just simply take sum of these two, divide this by 2 which is equal to 96 divided by 2 which is equal to 48 which is the average of the odd numbers from 1 to 95. I hope you got the formula it is first odd number plus last odd number divided by 2 that is going to be your average. Now, let me prove this with the smaller series find the average of odd numbers from number 1 to number 7. So, let us find it using standard method. So, let us take sum of numbers 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 and divide it by count which is 4 which is equal to 16 by 4 which is equal to 4. Now, let us apply the formula. So, what is the first number 1? What is the last number 7? So, 7 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 4. You can see we got the same result using formula you can find the average quickly. Let us bring a twist. Let us find out the average of odd numbers from number 5 to number 95. Let us understand it is not necessary that number has to start with 1 so that this trick will work. Okay? The number can start with any odd number. So, in this case the series would be 5, 7, 9 till 95. What is the first odd number? 5, what is the last odd number that is 95. Let us take sum of this 2 and divide it by 2. So, 90 plus 5, 95 plus 5 is 100 divided by 2 which is equal to 50. So, 50 is the average of first odd number from 5 to 95. Now, let us take another one, we will twist it furthermore. Find the average of odd number from 6 to 95. Now, what is the first odd number here? 6 is it is 6 the odd number no so the first odd number is 7 then 9 till 95 let's take first odd number that is 7 add it to the last odd number that is 95 divide it by 2 so 95 plus 7 which is equal to 102 divided by 2 which is equal to 51 is the average of odd number from 6 to 95. To ensure your concepts are clear, let us find out the average of odd numbers from 8 to 128. You can see here the number series starts with 8. Is 8 the odd number? No. The next odd number will be 9, 11, 13 and so on. Is 128 odd number? No. So, what is the odd number before 128? That is 127. So, in this case the first odd number is 9 and the last odd number is 127. Let us take sum of these two and divide it by 2. So, 9 plus 127 is 136 divided by 2 which is equal to 68 is the average of odd number from 8 to 128. I hope you got this correctly. Please read the question carefully and apply the right formula and your answer will be ready within fraction of second. I hope so far you are enjoying this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe our channel. Now let us find out the average of first 100 even numbers. So the even numbers are the numbers which are divisible by 2 like 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. So, 2 is the first even number, 4 is the second even number, 6 is the third and so on. Like that, we have to find out the average of first 100 even number. Now, let me tell you trick to solve such problem. If the problem states find out the average of first n even numbers, then the answer will always be n plus 1. So, in this case, we have to find out the average of first 100 even numbers. So, my n is 100. So, my answer would be 100 plus 1 that is equal to 101. Now, let me prove this with the simple example. Let us try to find out the average of first 4 even numbers. So, my first 4 even numbers are 2, 4, 6 and 8. Let us take sum of these 4 and divide it by the count of number that is 4. So, using standard method my answer would be 20 which is sum of this 4 number divided by 4 which is equal to 5. 
now let's apply the trick you can see my nth even number is 8 so n is 4 so my fourth even number is 8 so n is equal to 4 hence n plus 1 is equal to 4 plus 1 which is equal to you can five. see our formula our tricks works absolutely fine and it can really save a lot of time during an examination let's figure out what is the average of first 1500 even number well it's very simple it's 1500 plus 1 that is equal to 1501 you should not take more than a second to solve such kind of sum during an examination let's twist the problem let's try to find out the average of even numbers from number 1 to number 100 well see carefully this sum is different than the previous sum the previous sum was about first 100 even numbers let me tell you the short trick to find out answer of such sum take the first even number in the series take the last even number in the series add it and divide it by 2 and your answer would be ready let's apply the formula in this sum is 1 the even number no 2 is the first even number and 100 is a last even number in this series so the first even number is 2 let's add it to the last even number that is 100 and divide it by 2 we'll get 102 divided by 2 which is equal to 51 which is precisely the average of the numbers even numbers from 1 to 100 to prove that our formula works absolutely fine let's take a small example and try to find out the average of even numbers from number 1 to number 8 let's first find out the average using standard method 1 is not the even number the next even number in the series is 2 after that the next even number is 4 6 and 8 so let's add all the even numbers 2 4 6 8 and divide it by count of the number that is 4 so what you are going to get is 20 divided by 4 which is equal to 5 which is the average of uh, this series from 1 to 8 now let's apply the formula so first even number is 2 last even number is 8 and divided by 2 so 2 plus 8 is 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5 so you can see either by the formula or by the short trick sorry short trick or the standard method uh, we are going to get the same result now let's quickly test ourselves our knowledge find out the average of your number from number 24 to 126 so you can see the 24 uh, is an even number first even number so let's write it down and 126 is a last even number in this series let's add first even number and the last even number that is 24 plus 126 and divide it by 2 as per our short trick we will get 150 divided by 2 which is equal to 75 which is the average of even numbers from 24 to 126 quickly figure out the average of even numbers from 54 to 167 so here the first even number would be 54 is 167 is a even number no so what is the even number before 167 is 166 so we got our first even number as 54 last even number as 166 let's add them 54 plus 166 and divide it by 2 which is equal to 220 divided by 2 which is equal to 110 which is the average of even number series from 54 to 167 i hope uh, you find this trick really easy and helpful if yes please do like this video and share your valuable feedback another type of questions asked in an exam are find out the average of first 50 natural numbers we have made separate video on the natural numbers to understand the concept but just to cut short the natural numbers are the number which starts with 1 2 3 4 and you can count them till infinity these are the number which you can naturally count the short trick to find out the average of first n natural number is to use formula n plus 1 by 2 so in this case n is 50 just add 1 to that and divide it by 2 so 50 plus 1 is 51 divided by 2 which is equal to 25.5 which is the average of natural first 50 natural numbers in order to prove 
that this short trick works absolutely fine. Let us apply this short trick on the simple sum and try to compare the result between the standard method and the short trick. Let us figure out the average of first 5 natural numbers. So, first 5 natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let us add them and divide it by count that is 5 which is equal to 15 by 5 which is equal to 3. Now, let us try to find out the answer using the short trick. Short trick is n plus 1 by 2. Here, n value of n will be 5. 5 plus 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. So, you can see either you use a short trick or the standard method, you are going to get same answer. And the short trick is way faster than the standard method, which is going to save your time. Now, let us try to find out the average of first 299 natural numbers. If you know of a trick, it should be way easy for you. So, it is n plus 1 by 2 value of 8 is 299, add 1 to 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 300 over 2 and the answer would be 150. Very, very easy, is not it? Now, let us move to another type of questions asked in the exam. Find out the average of square of 10 natural numbers. So, the first natural number that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square like that till 10 square and find out the average of this series. To solve such problem, you should know the formula to find out sum of square of series. The formula here is sum of square of series is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Here value of n would be 10. So, replace this value into the formula 10 into 10 plus 1 is 11 into 2n plus 1. So, 10 into 20 plus 1 is 21 and divided by 6. 6 can be divided by 2. So, 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 5 is 10. Now, 3 times 7 is 21. So, 7 times 5 is 35 into 11. If you know the formula how to multiply easily by 11, you can write 3 and 5 and just sum of this 3 and 5 8. So, 35 into 11 is 385. We have created short video how to multiply by 11 uh, which you can find into the description of this video. Now, the sum of number is 385 and divided by total count of number that is 10. So, the answer of this sum would be 385 by 10 that is equal to 38.5 which is the average of sum of square of first 10 natural numbers. We hope friends you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.